Stampede. It's 2024. <laughs> the year is 2024. What year is it? Is this the fourth year? Fourth year. Year four of Mean yeah. Stampede. Mm -hmm. It is the fourth, fourth year. year. It's great. I was thinking about the the, the other day. The uh, holy smokes! Time's flying. I know. I feel like I've known you forever. Our, our COVID competition has <laughs> grown. It has. If you're unaware what we're talking about, we're talking about a um, mead competition hosted stampede here. Of stampede sorts. of sorts. Hosted here in Oklahoma City. It's your chance to get some feedback on your brews, possibly win some ribbons, some awesome awards, some, cool stuff some really year. cool stuff. And we have, it's, if you've never entered a competition, it's as simple as taking whatever homebrew you have, and then there, we have, there's a registration side. So you do have to do some, you don't just send it in blank. Super chill though. <laughs> yeah. There will be a registration link that will be open. April 1st. April 1st. We're gonna put some dates on screen as this is going along. And go in there, register your meads, make sure you pay for them because that will secure your spot in here. We, uh, at this moment, don't have a cap, but if things start getting wild, we'll, we probably will have to put a cap yeah. somewhere. We but, have to be able to manage everything. Yes. Yeah. So go in there, register your mead. We have a lot of, I mean, opportunities for different categories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have a special one that I'm gonna let BC talk about a little bit more. Yeah, so we have all the traditional categories that you would see in a mead competition anywhere, but we also have Cattle Battle, mm -hmm. which is unique to Mead Stampede. And Cattle Battle, essentially what happens is we brew a batch of something, we tell you about the ingredients, and then you try and brew a batch that tastes like our batch. So you're trying to read our minds, mm -hmm. read our palates on what we would do to make this mead. And then when we judge it, we're not judging by which mead was best, for, for Cattle Battle, we're judging by which one was closest to the mead that we made. Yep. This year, the challenge is a cereal milk lactomel. So that is a mead made with whey, which is a byproduct from cheese making. Uh -huh. You use whey as some or all of the liquid in your mead, add in some honey, mm -hmm. and then at some point in your process, you will add cereal. We're not gonna tell you the cereal that we're using, but we will tell you it is gonna be one of the most common kind of like grocery store cereals that you would find. It's not some like limited edition Halloween cereal. It's something that you could go in and find right now. We did four different batches. Mm -hmm. We're testing four different cereals. Uh -huh. So currently we don't even know which one is gonna be the one that we're gonna go with. So you need to start four. That's what we're saying here. Yeah, <laughs> just get going. But you don't worry. Yeah. If you, had, if you didn't start it four months ago, don't worry. You can still you, do it. You can start it now, yep. send it in. So. Join Cattle Battle. We usually, I think last year we had 17 entries. Yep. We usually don't have that many entries because <laughs> it is incredibly challenging. Yes. And so I want to encourage folks to enter it because it's my favorite part of the yeah. Stampede. And of course, like he said, every other category, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. We have every other category possible for you. So whatever you're sitting on will fit into there. If you're curious on how to, how to know which category to put your stuff in. If you're new to this, um, one great place to go is our discords, doing the most discord or main main mead and say, hey, I'm entering Mead Stampede. I have this brew, where does it go? And we will gladly help you find the spot for it to go in there. Yeah. Because that can be confusing. And too. I will caution you, if you're being really specific about what's in it or what you're making, you might send a direct message to uh, Rob, mm -hmm. who's our, our event organizer just so none of the judges get spoiled on what it is that you made. But if you yes. have generalities like, hey, I made this mead with grape juice and pepper, where does it go? Mm -hmm. That's that's gonna slide. Yeah. None of us are gonna remember that Discord message yeah. when it comes down to judging. We have a ton of awards. We have awards for, of course, our first and second and third place, the best of show. We have some specific ones for myself, BC, and Mandy, who are, were the three main people who host this our favorite brews. Does yeah. not necessarily have to be a meddling brew. It could just be our favorite brew from Whatever the whole we weekend. So we will and it's each a choose buckle. one. It's a really cool, <laughs> got it! It's a very unique, cool award. Yeah. So another reason to enter. We're rolling out some new awards as well. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be really fun. Um, very beginner friendly as well. So if you're like, well, I'm, I've just made two or three meads. Send it in, who knows. <laughs> That's why we have a Rookie of the Year Award. We are introducing for the first time this year, if you have never entered Mead Stampede before, and if you haven't meddled in any of the other major mead competitions, you will be qualified for the Rookie of the Year. It's well worth it for you to enter, if not just for the fun of it, for the feedback. We have tons of great judges with valuable 
uh, palettes who can help you grow, and that's the intent of our competition. We want to help you grow. Yeah. Of course, we like awarding medals, but at the end of the day, we want our competition to be unique in that we are hoping to make you a better mead maker as we taste your meads, give you some feedback from what we think. Not to say we're the end all be all of stuff, but right. we've tasted a lot of meads and um, we have a lot of experience brewing, so we can hopefully help. Well, and we've entered a lot of competitions. You, many more than I have, because yes. you have so much overflow. <laughs> but we've entered a lot of competitions. Our judges have all entered lots of competitions. And so we know the value of good feedback. And not every competition provides comprehensive feedback. Some of them just give a couple words. Right. And so one of our goals, like Garrett said, is to make sure that you're getting useful feedback that helps you improve. And a lot of times we'll even, if it's, you know, we have a judging pair, if, if there's something that we're looking for in there, we might pass a, a glass off to another judge just to get another opinion and then fold that into your, into your feedback yes. too. So we try and make sure it's as comprehensive as possible. Tons of dates on screen, entering, when the deadline for shipping is, how to get bottles here. We have all that information on our website if you'd like to keep updated with that too. And we want you to enter. Please send, your, send us your stuff. We would love to try it. We would love to hopefully award you some uh, ribbons and swag. Word. And thank you to our sponsors, everyone who has sponsored Mead Stampede this year and in the past. Mm -hmm. You make this possible. We were really fortunate this year to have a bunch of sponsors jump in early. Yep. Uh, back around the holidays, and so that allowed us to pay some of the bills that yep. we needed to pay earlier than we typically would, which has, has set us up for a nice, sustainable future for the competition. So we really we appreciate are, we're ready. everyone. And we are. We are going to hopefully see you in person as well. At, On July 19th. Yes, you can find us in person as well if you'd like to travel to Oklahoma City. Great state. Some stuff to do. Not, a, not necessarily a ton, but it is a fun... You'll have a fun time hanging with us. Yeah, and we, so July 19th is gonna be our award ceremony. That is the Jamboree. And there'll be, you know, various stuff going mm -hmm. on around town. Our judges like to come in and have a good time. So <laughs> if you come in, we'll have hotel details eventually. We don't have them just yet, but you'll wanna stay at the, the event venue hotel and connect with our judges and you know any of the fun touristy stuff they do bar crawls and whatnot you can it's gonna be a great time in. yeah we're gonna have lots of things time. for you all right we hope to see you there make sure you enter on time so that you can for sure get your stuff in and we'll see you in all your bottles in july meet stampede mm -hmm.